an awful lot can be hidden by the fact that you have overwhelming military force. You, you can get away with an awful lot. And, um, but the history, the, the modern history of, of the, the US, and, and, and I wouldn't just say America, I would also include the UK in this because of the, um, the very close uh, allegiance. All of the radical military shocks over the past few years, whether we're talking about Somalia, or we're talking about 9-11, or we're talking about insurgencies in Iraq or, or Afghanistan, have all, they've all been um, incredibly shocking because of, because of the, because it, the asymmetry exposed the fact that other people were playing other games. They were playing, they were fighting by different rules. They were playing a different, they were playing a different battle. And so, of course, if we were to fight a if we were to suddenly get into a land war against Russia in the Black Forest, then the US and her allies would be vastly superior. Vastly superior. But as has been shown many, many times, both in real life and in exercises, um, that vast superiority in one thing blinds you to the fact that you could be beaten in other ways. And so... However, having said that, of course, the US is a very big country and has lots of very, 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 very talented people and lots of very interesting um, initiatives. You know, the very fact that all these people are here today um, means that the, the, the opportunity to, to correct that is very, very high. But it wouldn't be difficult for somebody with... No, it wouldn't be difficult for somebody with, with the right um, set of imagination and a, and, and a large enough but effectively limited budget to still do an awful lot of damage to this country by just being imaginative. Um, you know, and, and thriller writers make a good living off thinking of all the ways of doing it. Um, so, yeah, radically mid-table. <laughs> 